<laughs> you know, in the last video I talked with you a little bit about foreclosure, and I started to draw a foreclosure timeline up here on the board. Let me tell you a little bit about the timeline. Basically what happens, and just to repeat from the last video, is if the, the person making the payments, the payor, be, falls behind in their payments, the lender um, obviously pulls the note out of their normal servicing and, and puts it in some place and says, hey, this guy's a problem. Kind of like my partner over here. <laughs> this guy's a problem. He's not making his payments. And so the workout division will call and say, hey, can you make your payments? Can you make your payments? Can you make your payments? And if the person still doesn't make their payments, then the lender files what's called a notice of default. And it's a public notice. It basically is a public announcement. Hey, guess what? This guy over here is a default of his loan. And in most states, that is the technical beginning of the foreclosure process. So somebody says, my house is in foreclosure. I always want to ask them, what do you mean by that? Because foreclosure means different things to different people. In this case, the accurate term for foreclosure, this whole thing is the foreclosure process. If they started the collection over here, they've got notice of default here, they might ask the uh, person making the payments to pay the entire amount before it goes to foreclosure. That's all the foreclosure process. The actual sale itself right here is where the crier gets up at the courthouse steps or any public place depending on the state and says, hey everybody, this guy, we're owed X amount of dollars so we're going to open the bid on this house at X amount of dollars. And again, if I go back to Roland's case, let's say that Roland owed 100000 He might have six or 10000 say, in back payments, uh, plus some fees, maybe 5000 in fees. So Countrywide would open the bid at 115 and $1. Now, why am I telling you all about this? Because we're going to get into paper, bad paper later on, and you're going to run the risk if you buy paper on a house you are on the risk that people might stop making their payments. I'll get into that a little bit later and show you ways to get out of that. But I just want you to be aware of the foreclosure process. And finally, the foreclosure process after it goes back to the bank at this point, if the bank owes it, owns it now, it's now called an REO, which stands for real estate owned. So you've got pre-foreclosure over here. You've got the actual foreclosure date or sale in the middle. And over here on the right, after the bank takes it back, it's the REO. Now, one other term before we go on to the next video, and that term is the assignment. And you'll hear me referring to these. So what you may want to do is review these last two or three videos um, a couple of times, because as I move forward, I'm going to start using these terms rather frequently. An assignment is nothing more than like endorsing a check, if you would. So let's say, again, Roland is paying Countrywide. Countrywide sells the note to Wells Fargo. Countrywide assigns the note to Wells Fargo. It's almost like a, uh, an IO, a pay to the order of. So Roland's got an IOU payable to Countrywide, and they're taking that and assigning it to somebody else, kind of like a check. You know, when you write a check, you're basically saying, I'm going to pay Walmart money. If Walmart assigns it to somebody else, they're taking your IOU from your check and assigning that to somebody else. The thing I want you to remember about assignments is the banks do it between themselves all the time. Private sellers can assign their note in exchange for cash. So remember here, the whole concept of selling a note is exchanging cash flow as a note holder. I'm getting payments, right? I'm exchanging cash flow for cash. And the guy on the other side, the, the person who's buying the note, they're exchanging cash for the right to receive cash flow. Review this last couple of tapes before we go on.